I really like this hospital as like somewhere to potentially work. It's just the distance is gonna... It's a barrier. It's definitely a barrier. Right now I'm just making the salad. I should have made this morning. Adrian has lunch together for tomorrow. This is driving me nuts, like absolutely nuts right now. Anyways, my preceptor is back today. I'm so happy. We are in the step down unit again today. So just two patients. Um, I'm kind of taking charge on both of them. I mean, honestly, she's just watching me do my thing. These two patients today both have telemetry. I can put the leads on everything. I know the five leads, 12 leads, 15, whatever it is that you want to do. It's the interpretation of them is... <laughs> It's not my strong suit. So I've actually downloaded Easy EKG uh, Interpretation. So I'm just actually going through that book today. And it looks like because I'm doing four nights that we might end up just being in the step down unit for four nights straight. I know for sure one of the patients is going home tomorrow. So that takes off one telemetry patient. So I'm not sure who else will be in that room, but for sure the other one's gonna be here for a while. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for me to learn how to interpret them. I have basics, just basics. I could definitely use some more practice and being on a medical unit in my own own practice we don't interpret them at all there's a nurse who does uh, ecgs they're at the hospital at this hospital too and they'll come and do like a full 12 lead and then give the interpretation the physician also gives the interpretation but the floor nurses anyways at my hospital don't do that but here being in the step down unit it's kind of like a requirement that you have that as part of your education to know how to interpret the ecgs so that'll be a good learning opportunity for me this week i just wanted some chips so the vending machines are cash only and i only have my debit card i do have a 50 dollar bill on me but the vending machines will only take maximum of 20. so i guess it was just not meant to be i did find out where the cafeteria was in the basement thought it was going to be creepy down there but it's not that bad Oh, no. That's okay. Oh. I just seen the sky outside. It looks bright, bright, bright red. I hope I can get outside uh, quick enough before the sun comes up anymore to get a picture of it, but it looks beautiful. 707, not bad. Okay, I'm just ready to go. Oh. The roads are definitely way more clear. Actually, even yesterday when I was driving in here, there wasn't any like snow on the road anymore. I think it's just from people driving all day, which was awesome. So I wasn't slipping and sliding on the roads coming in. And today it looks like it didn't snow much overnight. So the streets are clear. It's freaking cold. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see it in the distance, but it's like bright red. I wish I got a picture from up top. It's beautiful. As we speak right now, I'm actually driving past my old placement that I had in the summer, the mental health placement that I absolutely loved. So I think it's pretty cool that um, two placements that have been going really well in this city are so close to each other. And then the two placements that went miserably and terribly wrong in the other city are also beside each other. So one good city, one bad. And then where I work is like in the middle. Hopefully I'll be in bed and sleeping by 9.30, no later than 9.30. I was really tired. It hit the four o'clock mark and I, I just couldn't keep my eyes open for the life of me. Good thing I got back when I did. My neighbor just texted me, I guess Adriana forgot. Um, pants. Okay, well that was nice. I got to see Adriana off on her bus. I'll see her later today. And right now I'm just at Walmart waiting to pick up any groceries for this morning. 
And then I just talked to my grandparents. They're in Niagara Falls right now. My grandma was texting me last night a bunch of pictures. Her and my grandpa just took a little three-day trip to Niagara Falls to look at some of the lights and just enjoy each other's time. I love them so much, they're so cute. She's suggesting that I take Adriana there and I'm thinking probably when I'm done my, like these next seven days, I will probably take her. I'm starting to develop a headache, which means I need to go to sleep sooner than later. It'll start to get bad. I felt it coming on around four o'clock this morning, you know, when I couldn't keep my eyes open any longer. I guess the one thing that I'm not used to on nights at this place is like when we take our breaks at my workplace, we can take a break and like pull a stretcher out and just put like clean linens on it and take a little nap or just rest. But like you have your own little space because it's your stretcher. They're extra stretchers. They're just kind of sitting in the hallway. And that's only if we have time for break. Like sometimes on nights, like it's just too hectic to have break. This um, placement that I've had so far, there's a break room and there's an education room, which is like i guess it's like a secondary break room but it's half mixed with a storage closet now it's i've actually that's where i've been filming some of my videos majority of my videos when i'm there but there's three people that go off on break at one time which means one person's kind of left just not using one of the rooms unless you're going to share which most people don't because some people nap and sleep and you know you don't want to disturb somebody else anyway so i i fell asleep at the nurse's station but like kind of off to the side and around the corner i just had like a blanket and i put my head down on the desk and oh i'm my back's hurting my neck is hurting not the most comfortable i'm not used to having breaks like that but it's okay Overall, very good night, by the way. I got to learn a little bit more about uh, like reading and interpreting telemetry, the ECGs. Um... Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? Linda Lee. Yeah, it's for you. Thank and you. In the trunk, yes. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Love these guys. They're great. I don't remember the last time I've stepped foot inside of Walmart to purchase anything. struggling here to stay awake what time is it it's 8 17 already and my preceptor had showed me like a couple different I, I guess like study cards or like quick review cards that you can attach to your badge or just carry on with you at shift I like ecg interpretations like a quick review kind of thing um you can either get the bigger one that you just hold or you can get the little one that is like badge size and just attach it to the rest of your many different things you already have on your badge but i've watched so many of the girls actually use it so it seems to be a helpful thing um so i've gone ahead and ordered those thank you thank you bye i'm starving right now i don't know what to eat should i go home and make something i feel like i really want pasta i'm not a breakfast person i don't care for breakfast foods i don't just don't sit right with me those typical breakfast foods so i'll have like a full five course dinner meal for breakfast before i'll have an extra breakfast before i have an actual breakfast meal so first break of the evening about a 45 minute break we're in the step down unit again one of our patients is the same as yesterday we have a new patient today who had a lobectomy done today so they've got a chest tube in i'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable i don't know if whether if it's my preceptor being packed with me just being in the step down unit because it's a more calm environment and there's more time to have that kind of one-on-one -on -one care with your patient and to read up on their full patient history whereas being on the floor obviously you have anywhere from um, four to five patients and the acuity ranges all over and because it's a specialized respiratory unit you could have anything right anyways i'm enjoying another day here we had two people on telly one of them was just taken off so i'm looking a little bit more into the the ecg interpretations other than that overall good night i just got a phone call from my uh, instructor from the school and uh, she was making a joke because she said she hadn't heard from me in so long so with the last placement in the long-term care facility i was on the phone with her almost every single day because there was an issue almost every single day because she's like i haven't heard from you at all basically <laughs> since we've been at this placement and so we were both laughing because we we're like that's a good thing you know that i haven't had to call in and everything has been going really well here so um she was just calling to check in and yeah what have we got like six seven days left seven days i don't remember seven days remaining i made some pasta again for myself for dinner the pasta i had yesterday was in such a tiny bowl i didn't make enough 
and I gave the rest to Adriana for her lunch, which turns out she didn't even eat it. She asked for it and then didn't want it. So I decided to make more for myself for today. Didn't put it in a big enough bowl, but that's all right. I made sure as well today to bring enough food. I thought I had enough yesterday. I thought the salad and a little bit of pasta would have been enough, but I was starving. And then I was starting to crave sweets and I was getting all crazy. 